Good morning and welcome to our Wednesday morning Time in the Word devotional. I'm Pastor Will, and it's always it's great having you with us here. I'd like to open up our time together this morning by reading to you from the, from the Gospel of John, John chapter 20, verses 24 to 29. Hear the word of the Lord. Now Thomas, also known as Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands, and put my finger where the nails were, and put my hand in, into his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here. See my hands? Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. May the Lord bless the reading of his holy word. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word this morning. And now pray, Lord, your blessings upon us as we come before it. Asking, Lord, that you would open our eyes to the truth you would have for us to learn. For we do pray this in your name. Amen and amen. We all battle with doubt from time to time. Even Thomas, one of Jesus' original disciples, battled with doubt. The very one known for his courage and the very one who had witnessed Jesus' numerous miracles. He doubted the report of his disciple brothers who had told them that they had seen the risen Lord, telling them that unless he saw the nail marks in his hands and put his fingers where the nails were and to put his hand to his side, he would not believe. An understandable doubt, I mean, dead people do not have the habit of rising from the dead, right? Chances are, if we were in Thomas's situation, we would have probably have doubted as well. Yet, as we all know, this is not the end of the story. We are told that a week later, the risen Jesus appeared again to the disciples. And this time, Thomas was with them. And after Jesus showed himself to Thomas, Thomas proclaims, My Lord and my God. All doubt was gone. His Savior had indeed risen from the dead. A risen, his Savior was alive and well. A risen Savior who would be with him forever, and a risen Savior who makes eternal life a reality for the believer. In this passage, we find the key ingredient for battling doubt, don't we? Please note that after refusing to believe that Jesus had risen from the dead, Thomas was still among his fellow disciples, a week later, when Jesus appeared again. Thomas, you see, did not allow his doubt to drive him out of the fellowship. He remained with them and was rewarded with seeing the risen Savior. In the same way, when we battle with doubt, we would do well to keep active in the faith. To continue reading God's word, to continue in prayer, and to continue to attend church, even if our hearts are not in it. But the truth is, feelings come and go. But faith is reality, not a mere feeling. And it's in those times of doubt that we need church, and we need the spiritual discipline all the more. Thomas was rewarded by 
continuing going through the motions of faith, even though he doubted by seeing the risen Lord, and so will we. Seeing the risen Lord in his word, in prayer, and in worship. For as our Jesus, for as our Jesus reminds us in Matthew 18, verse 20, where two or three gather together in my name, there am I with them. Well, that's about it from here this Wednesday morning. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great week. And I hope to see you in church this coming Sunday. Till next time on Time and a Word, blessings. I'll catch you later.